Okay, that's the sound your motor will make when it's starting to burn out. You can hear that high pitch sound. Sometimes it'll make a more grinding noise also. But that's definitely the bearings wearing out. And um, like I mentioned in my pump video, it's time to take it off and get it rebuilt. Rebuild the bearing. It'll give you a couple more years out of your motor. And it just too loud. It carries all the way through the whole area. So here's another motor with uh, the bearings going out. You can hear that grinding noise that I talked about that's possible too, besides that squeaking noise. But this one is also has really bad bearings. He's a very play. So those are two examples of a motor that has bad bearings that needs to be rebuilt. You can still hear this one in the background. I'm only about 20 feet from it and it's pretty loud. I can actually hear from the street. So if you can, call pool service guy out here to uh, rebuild the motor for you and that will give you a couple more years of life out of it. Or replace the motor. It's really up to you. This motor here, I, re I took it in to get rebuilt about uh, a year ago. It sounded just like that previous motor that was making that loud grinding noise, high pitch noise. So after a year it's actually doing really good. It's pretty quiet. You can't even hear any kind of grinding or um, screeching noises. So again, if you want to get it rebuilt, um, I pretty much can say it'll I'll last at least one or two years more. Okay, one more thing about the motor. Um, if you're going to replace the motor, you want to replace it with the same horsepower. This one is a one horsepower. The reason for that is you cannot um, change the horsepower without changing the impeller. So for instance, if you have a two horsepower motor and you put a one horsepower motor on it, it the one horsepower motor will burn out very rapidly with the two horsepower impeller on there. The only way you can change the motor horsepower is by changing the impeller also. So make sure you change the motor with the same horsepower. I recommend you stick to the four major brands if you put a pump in. Uh, Stay right. This here is a Pentair Whisper Flow Pump. And there's also Jandy and Hayward. Those are the four main brands of pumps. And when you replace the motor, try not to get an off-brand motor. If anything, A.O. Smith makes a really good motor that works on almost all of those brands I mentioned. So again, um, you replace it with the manufacturer motor. This here is a Pentair a Whisper Flow Pump to so use a Pentair motor or an A.O. Smith motor and do not buy an off-brand motor because they don't last. They may work for a year to three years and they'll have start having major problems. So again, um, replace it with the same horsepower. It's very important otherwise you'll burn out the motor. And one more one thing also, make sure when you replace your motor you check to see if you're a 220 or a 110. Most motors you can actually wire it or set a switch inside and change the um, voltage and if you put a uh, 220 motor in on a 110 power source, it'll just burn out within like five minutes. So you don't want to do that either. So make sure you check your breaker panel. You know if the 220, if it's got the, the double breaker tied together versus the 110. And that's a quick, easy way to tell what kind of uh, power source your motor has. Okay, and here's how to tell if it's 220 or 110. This is the pump hooked up to a 220. You can see the breakers on a double. Thing. And this is a 110 breaker. So if your pump is hooked up to a 110, you'll know just by looking at the breaker panel where the pump is hooked up. Very easy way to know what voltage. Majority of pumps run off 220. Running off 110 uses a lot more energy to run that motor and pump. So most pools are installed if they can. If it's an older panel, they can only do a 110. But most will do a 220 to run very efficiently. And uh, that's how you can tell the different size of, of uh, voltage. This here is the A.O. Smith motor that I talked about as a good replacement. I use, they make it for all the brands of pumps. It just depends on the flange. Um, this one here is a, looks like a Stay Right pump. So they make them for the PRX Stay Right Hayward. It's just a different flange. They, how they hook in is all they change. So this is a very good alternative motor than the manufactured one. 